moment is here, you can stop your search, it's Comics by Perch. Hey everybody, this is Perch, and uh, I, I want to thank everybody, of course, who supported uh, Gemini Jump. One of the aspects of uh, that comic, and I, I did a video on this that I said I did not like, is I didn't like uh, using Indiegogo. Um, and the reason why was not because I, uh, I have some ideological opposition to it. It's that I, you know, they're going to take a cut of the money and I really didn't need them other than some basic logistical pieces. Um, but just to, to help out getting the comic through, to go to a, a platform people knew, it was down between Indiegogo and Kickstarter. And to be honest, the way the funds were released and ultimately just the speed at which could be done, Indiegogo was a better option. Um, but I, I, as I said before in uh, you know, comments made a month ago, I, I wasn't thrilled that this was happening. Uh, I, I just didn't, it, it felt like I was giving them money for nothing. And, uh, and I look forward to a platform where that isn't needed. What was interesting about that decision is that I got pushed back pretty hard from, uh, from two directions, uh, from people who said, if you're not using Kickstarter, you're a you know, hate person because apparently that's what that means. And then I got pushed back from the Indiegogo side, including some really, I would say, pointedly uh, bitchy comments uh, from some people who are big Indiegogo faithfuls, uh, saying that I was, um, I, they, they really didn't like me, in, you know, saying I didn't really like the platform. I, I was called all kinds of things and got some pretty nasty, I would say some pretty nasty stuff. Uh, there's always, I, you know, there, a lot of people make comments uh, sometimes they're joking, uh, like Mumbles does, or sometimes they're just slightly peeved and that's fine. But you can always tell like when people go that extra mile. Um, and one of the big thoughts was there, it's like, if you don't support Indiegogo, then you support gatekeeping. Well, got news for you. So, uh, you know, <laughs> Indiegogo is actually changing. And this was uh, actually news from a couple weeks ago, but it kind of flew under the radar. So uh, Indiegogo will be, will be starting a crowdfunding alliance uh, with uh, GoFundMe. And the reason why they're doing this um, is specifically they're going to move from, well, I'm, I'm just going to read the, the, the text to you. They're going to shift from an open platform where anyone can raise money for any purpose to a closed model where every campaign will receive a manual review before it can go live. And um, it, it basically, the reason behind this is it says that uh, uh, a lot of backers have uh, issued frustration because they haven't gotten what they wanted, that some campaigns have gone out and they clearly aren't fully baked, and that uh, you know crowdfunding is not shopping, but it shouldn't be a leap in the dark, says uh, Will, Will Haynes, Vice President of Product and, and Customer Trust. The risk has to be worth it. Backers need the tools to make an informed decision. So by, info by reviewing campaigns before they can launch, the company plans to work more closely with the entrepreneurs behind a campaign to ensure they have a solid plan and enough knowledge to bring their product or idea to market. Um, so uh, they're going to roll this out relatively slowly by doing some observation. They've created an internal review board to oversee and evaluate uh, campaigns to evaluate the riskiest campaigns on its platform as determined by its community of backers. The board can then take action ranging from banning campaign owners from launching new campaigns, sending campaign owners to collections, reporting them to law enforcement if necessary. Uh, some actions would be reserved for campaigns Indiegogo believed to be working under malintent. And if the company doesn't hear back from the campaign owner after several attempts, uh, they will uh, to contact them or failure to comply with their TOS. Um, Indiegogo is saying our mission is to create a global network. All right. And it goes on and on a little bit about kind of what they're, uh, they're, they're doing there. So where does this all lead us? Well, kind of right back to where I started. Um, I look, I think in general, um, part of what comics needs right now and, and, and just work with me here, no matter whether you are Indiegogo faithful, Kickstarter faithful, pro com, you know, pro establishment comics, want new comics, webtoons, whoever, wherever you are. One of the things that we really need in comics in this exact moment, and I would argue the reason why is because uh, prices are high, distribution is questionable. We've got a lot of, of threats to the supply chain. Digital hasn't come along. There's a lot of question marks. And so in this exact moment in time, we need easier ways for people to get their comics out. We need easier ways for people to have a vision, to get a team, put it together, and, uh, and get their comic out to market. 
Now, this is going to be a problem for people who want to put up more walls. And there are definitely people advocating for this. Indiegogo's move here is already generating a lot of uh, happiness from, I would say, uh, some people in the comics uh, industry who are tweeting and posting about how several campaigns by people they don't like uh, who have been making a lot of money on Indiegogo can now be threatened and they can file complaints and they can hopefully get them booted off uh, Indiegogo as a platform. Um, I think that's that's a, that, that's just terrible. And I think it's terrible. I, I, I think right now, if you are on the side of let's make it harder for people to get comics out, Whoever you are, whatever politics, whether you're super left-leaning, super light-leaning, whatever it happens to be, um, I think blocking your book coming out is counterproductive. The most effective way, bluntly, to uh, you know, for people who have, quote, bad ideas, the most effective way to ensure their failure is to not buy their book, to not promote their book, and to let it die in silence. That is the most effective way. Now, that does mean that some stuff you don't like will still get attention from people. And then, uh, you know, you're going to have to put up with seeing this stuff on the shelves. But it's it's healthier that way. Because unfortunately, the more walls you put up, you're, you, 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 you know, I think in people's heads, they think, well, this will just keep the bad people, the people I don't like out. But what they always discover every time is it makes their life harder as well. It makes everyone's life harder as well. And so, you know, like I said, we just wrapped Jim and I jump. Um, we worked within the rules, uh, of course. Uh, we fulfilled immediately. I mean, from Indiegogo's perspective, we should be a gold star customer because they got, you know, that thing out within a week of the campaign closing. People got their comics, was thrilled to see people uh, posting on Twitter, uh, Facebook, and other places uh, their, their photos of their book coming in. That was awesome. Um, I think that that should be a, a, you know, Indiegogo should be thrilled. Um, Indiegogo, uh, who, who's releasing the funds, I think, to Larry now, because we shipped out actually before they even released the money to us, um, they, uh, you know, I, 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 they're, they're showing us their cut, that they have, uh, you know, they're, they're taking their money out. And I'll tell you, I was, uh, I was, I was pissed. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, okay, so I basically... Uh, you know, I gave Indiegogo uh, hundreds of dollars for what exactly? I mean, they don't help make the art. They have a form. I can put it up. Um, is Indiegogo itself uh, bringing new customers in? I don't think so. I think I sent uh, and Larry sent all the customers to Indiegogo to fulfill. And so you look at it and you're like, well, you know, something like a PayPal or just a, a basic storefront you put up seems like a better idea. And now I'm back to where I was, you know, a month ago when I had a bunch of people just lose their tempers at me because I dared to say negative things about IgG. Well, IgG is, uh, you know, they're 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 gonna make it harder. They're going to have this, uh, you know, this review. And so, on one hand, by the way, I get it. I do get that uh, campaigns don't fulfill. There's been really high profile names that haven't fulfilled. And uh, that that is uh, going to hurt the campaign. It's going to ultimately bring down trust of crowdfunding. I get that. Um, what I what I also see here is that this is just another opportunity for people to wage war on each other um, over what campaigns can be up and what campaigns can't be up. And it, it's just, again, it's a ton of effort that's not being put toward making comics. And that's that's lousy. My position then and now continues to be the marketplace of ideas should be where the battle is, is waged. And if the comic doesn't sell, it doesn't work. If it sells, it does. And sometimes that means content you're going to like is out there. And sometimes it means that the content that you hate is, is doesn't succeed. And then you can sit back and hold a, you know, a, a goblet of, of wine in your hand and, and chuckle to yourself in front of a fire like a maniacal supervillain that your enemies would be defeated. That, that sounds great. Whatever, whatever gets you off. But um, I, I, all of this just means, look, comic needs some storefronts. It needs some different ways to distribute. It needs to be an open platform. 10 years from now, uh, maybe when things have, have worked itself out and we have a digital strategy and there's lots of easy ways, you can start to create more structure. But right now, 
the the less amount of friction possible to get comics out into the market is desperately what we need. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. IgG, are you now going to uh, continue to support IgG? Are you going to go to Kickstarter? Are you going to support neither? What's your plan? How do you think this is going to impact crowdfunding or will it impact anything? Maybe all this is, is no big deal and it will be fine. I'd love it, by the way, if part of the answer here was that, um, you know, people are going to give up on trying to do these little sabotage efforts um, at each other. I, I, I mean, that would be great. They could just focus on the comics they're making and, and stop doing this nonsense. But I don't see that happening. Anyway, uh, there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks for listening.